Curriculum 2.0 is aimed at really preparing students for the future of healthcare and biomedical science, which is dramatically different than what we've experienced in our lifetimes. People ask us, if it's perfect, why change it? And um, the truth is, first of all, it's not perfect. We know a lot more about how people learn than we did 100 years ago. And what we know is that when people learn in context, when they learn about the anatomy of the brain while they're taking care of a patient that has a brain disorder, they remember for a long time, and they remember it permanently, as opposed to just transiently to take the test. One of the sort of taglines that we've developed for Curriculum 2.0 is that it's not just a sequence of courses, it's actually a system of learning. So instead of just a linear, again, a linear course where you take one course, the next, the next, the next, and it's all prescribed throughout four years, it, it's really, how have you done? What do you want to do? Where do you need to go next based on how you're developing? I took the blue pill pretty early, and I said, wow, this, this is exactly what all of the learning sciences have taught us. This is exactly what all of the other education experts and all the other disciplines would say is the way to go. And I think once I took that to heart and realized how things meshed together, it was very easy for me to buy into the new system. Two big things come to mind when I think about what are the changes that are going to happen. First is that students in multiple ways will have more clinical exposure earlier. And the second change is this idea that students are going to be more responsible for what they need to know. So I'm part of the hybrid curriculum. They didn't want to just take this new class and throw them in to this brand new curriculum right away. So they kind of try things with us. You don't just feel like they're just trying to get you exposed to what it's actually like to practice medicine. Because when you're kind of just sitting there looking at a textbook, you read a lot of things, you see a lot of things in the book, but until you're actually there and you actually have to deal with what like real health issues are with actual people, you don't get a full grasp of it. You just don't. And so I think that's what they're trying to have us do. They're trying to have us become more proficient clinical doctors. I think the really major difference is that we're focusing more on how they learn as much as what they learn. Uh, and that's a skill set that you need continuing throughout your career as a physician. When you think about much of structured education, it's, it's fairly passive. You're told what you should learn and you regurgitate it for tests. When you move into the workplace in any career, but particularly in medicine, which is rapidly evolving, you really need to identify for yourself, what do I not know? Where do I find that information? How do I know if it's good information? How do I apply that to the patient in front of me? So I think some of the students have an excited apprehension about Curriculum 2.0. I think they're excited because there's going to be a lot more individualization, there's going to be a lot more opportunity for students to pursue those avenues that they're interested in and they're passionate about. But there's also a little apprehension about the idea that they're going to be more responsible for everything. We have never been in a time where healthcare and what it really means to to perform healthcare has changed so rapidly. We need to make our students professional learners because the change that they're gonna encounter in what they need to know to be successful clinicians is actually gonna exponentially increase after they leave. So, so the tool set they need to be great physicians is vastly different than the tool set I needed. That's where Vanderbilt's culture comes in, and I think the collaboration between faculty and students at Vanderbilt is not something that's new. That's something that's been here for so long that has been passed down from medical school class to medical school class, that if there was any place where we were going to be able to develop this new system, that faculty and students working together, this, this is it.